What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Lee and I'm a DIY electric skateboard builder and today is going to be an awesome day because Tim is coming to collect the four-wheel drive board. Now, I appreciate not all of you guys will properly know everything about the four-wheel drive board. If you're a Patreon to the channel then you know all about it because we've been talking about it behind the scenes. But yeah, Tim's come to pick it up and he'll be here in about an hour. I've charged the board, ready to go. So I'm just waiting for him to come. I'm gonna go out for a test ride and hopefully he doesn't hurt himself. So here it is guys, the four wheel drive tramper carver ready for Tim. I'll give you some more details about this in a bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, this thing is super, super powerful. Now I've actually tried to make a video about this board already. Um, it was an absolute failure. The thing is just too powerful to ride properly and record at the same time, but this is what happened. You wanna see how much torque this has got? Yep. <laughs> I mean, check out the torque on that thing. It's just like, I just blipped the throttle there and it just shot off. But yeah, try to record this video, have a look. So yes guys, I built this insane four wheel drive board just for a laugh really, to see um, how it would work and just how insane it would be. And let me tell you guys, even geared at, uh, at four to one, even geared at four to one, this thing is an absolute animal. I just can't believe how quick it is. And yeah, essentially it was impossible guys. So Tim's coming, uh, we'll get out for a ride. The weather is holding off, even though it's scheduled to rain, you really don't want to ride this thing in the rain, just too much torque. But um, yeah, hopefully he's going to like his board and going to have a successful ride together. Ready? Excited? Go for it. Go on. What do you reckon? Like beast already. Looks like it's already doing 20 miles an hour stationary. <laughs> Some nice vicious grip on that. Yeah, so fake grip. no, this is the um, this is the frit job I did. This is glass frit, so this should never fade. You might you might lose a piece or two over time, yeah, but, but the majority of it. The majority of it will stay. Yeah. Idlers to. Yeah, so these are motor mounts from Idea TB. Mm. Makes really nice kit, and they've got the crossbar as well supporting. Ah, oh, okay, nice. So uh, these aren't going to move at all. No. Protects the motors a bit from. Yeah, from like if you put it up on its end, it would sit on. Sit on there. Those know. there. So we've gone for 60T on the wheels, 15T on the motors, which is a four to one ratio, seven and a half inch tires. And yeah. Flip it over, have a look at the bottom. That is actually a big enclosure there. It's really clean. And then, is it a screw cap? Yep. Nice, that's not just gonna fall off. Like no, exactly. Involves. Screw cap charge port. So the charge port's fused for 10 amps. I've provided yeah, you with yeah. a seven amp charger. That's all I'd be using on anyway. Good, you've got a, a smart BMS in there, which yes. we'll have a look at in a minute. Yeah. This, is, this enclosure is um, a e-boosted enclosure. Absolutely fantastic mm. fiberglass, really thick, solid 
enclosure. Yes, go on. We use real it's high quality it. bolts. So there's inserts in the deck, which you can't see oh. because I've done the, the skin it's job. So it's completely yep. invisible. High quality Aku um, hardware on there, rubber um, washers to stop them from backing out. There's also a rubber, rubber gasket and this enclosure, I mean, look how nice it fits. That is just, that is clean. Isn't it? Yeah. It's the cleanest looking board I've ever seen. So I've given you a bit of slack here um, so that if you ever needed to get into the enclosure, you can drop it without taking the um, trucks off. The reason why is that we're actually using cable risers. So you'll see the cables oh, yeah. go into there. So these are terminated into um, MT60s, I think MT, the flat um, three um, pin yeah. connector. Um, or is it MR60? MR60, I think it is, yeah. So they, you know, that you can unplug the motors quickly. The sensors are soldered. So they're soldered together. That's the rain. Ah, can you? <laughs> Rain's coming. Flip it over the other side. Ooh, it's heavy. It is heavy. It weighs 18 kilos, which is 40 pounds. <laughs> okay, so the switch is there. Yeah, turn it on. There you go, one button. One button. And it's on, and if you flip it over onto its back so that nothing's touching the ground. So you've got your Flipsky VX2 here, yep. full telemetry on there. Give her, a, give her a blip. No messing around, mate. Four-wheel drive, that is crazy. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> you asked me, I just made it. Yeah. Don't know who's crazier, you for doing it or me for asking for it. <laughs> you got to look after this one, yeah? Yeah. This one will be definitely looked after. This will serve you well. Right, well, I just had a look. I just heard that a bit of rain came. I think it's definitely worth going out still. Yeah. We've got to test ride it, haven't we? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Let me get ready. So yes, we're out here, guys. We're testing the four-wheel drive board. I'm with Tim. He's just there. And uh, yeah, I think that um, this is going to surprise him about how quick it is. Now, I need to give a shout out to some people that helped with this board. Um, e boosted. I've got his Tramper uh, double stack carver enclosure on here. Absolutely fantastic enclosure. If you're building a Tramper carver and you want an under tray enclosure, eBoosted is a really good option. I've had a couple of enclosures off him before and all of them have been super high quality. So yeah, I think it's eBoards Peru is his website. I'll throw a link in the description. Also, the motors are from Street Wing here in the UK. Uh, Luke has always helped me out with motors. He shipped eight motors to me in one go because there was four for this and four for another four-wheel drive board I've been working on. But uh, yeah, I mean, thank you very much, Luke. I really appreciate the hookups with the parts, bro. You've always been dead good to me. And other than that, really, it's, this is just like a load of parts that I bought secondhand that we just put something pretty cool together with uh, for Tim, all to Tim's spec. Um, it's geared at four to one, so it's a really fast board, but with the four 6374 motors, it's also geared for torque. It's also able to provide a lot of torque, should I say. 67 amps per motor, and there's one in each corner. And we're taking advantage of that duty cycle phenomenon where you can get more motor amps than you can for the equivalent battery amps. So low speed torque is absolutely outrageous on this thing. I mean, it's capable in theory of pulling like, what's that, like 70, 140? It's capable of pulling like 280 amps in theory. So it's an absolute monster. And Tim, looks like Tim's already used to it, man. Anyway, let's go for a ride. So we've just ridden out a mile to get here. What are you saying, Tim? Uh, too much power still. <laughs> too much power. I'm in low and I'm flying. <laughs> Should we go for a ride? Lovely Let's countryside go. lanes. Come on then.
what's she like, mate? What do you reckon? Absurd. Pure insanity. <laughs> just, I can't get over just how much power it's got. There's no end to it. Like, you'll say it's got a lot of power, but it has a lot of power. There's just uncapped potential. Yeah, it's um, fast. Yeah. Very fast. Very fast. I mean, it's it's got it's like the magical combination of like high speed, because we we geared it to be taller gearing so that it would go faster. But because of the four wheel drive and the big motors running yeah. running big power, that brings the the torque up as well. So you've got yeah. the best of both worlds. Yeah, I've got all I've got more torque than I'm ever going to need, and I've got more speed than I'm ever going to need. Followed by a battery that, if I'm being honest. Is just good enough for me. Really? Just good enough for me. Jesus. I, I I hate going out on a ride, having to pack a charger, you know, a whole bag, the whole shebang, and just having to stop somewhere halfway through your ride just to charge up for two hours. I don't want that. I just <laughs> want to go out, hammer it, not have to worry about range anxiety, and have a good time. I think you've got 30 miles in that board, something 30 like miles that. Is, is, it's good. At, the, at, at you know, I guess if you go crazy, I it's could gonna... probably bring it down to about twenty. And if I was, could, yeah, and if, if you I took it easier, to I could probably get about forty in that. Well, I don't know because there's added drag with the with the four motors, so I don't it's know. True. I think you're probably about thirty or less, depending on how much of a hooligan you are. Mm. But then currently, I'm looking at getting about thirty miles on on the charge, and I've been riding it. <laughs> I haven't been crashing it but i've been riding it pretty quick you've been riding that hard mate i'm super impressed at how quick you were riding that straight off the bat <laughs> it's just, crazy just a second to realize how much power is behind it and then you just oh okay it's got this much power <laughs> well listen bro i'm really glad that you like it mm. definitely really going to be the fastest board here in london oh easy Easy, the quickest board. Got to be board. careful not to set off all the speed cameras. <laughs> and also careful about pe if people want to ride it and they want to test it. Oh, no one's riding it. Just be careful. You know, even those we know in London will just step on it, they'll just blip the fossil and they'll be thrown off. <laughs> like a scene out of a movie where we're on the back of a truck and get flung off. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what else I can say. Well, just enjoy her, yeah, look after her. I will be. And represent Apex. Of course I will. It's a good board. So there we go then, guys. Tim has just left. I just dropped him back at the train station and he is super stoked. And so he should be. You know, that board is a very, very highly strung thing. Super quick and, you know, spec entirely by him. So he's really happy with it. And I'm super glad, you know, it's really good. Uh, for me and I enjoy very much enjoy making people happy I very much enjoy like helping people and you know just doing my bit for the community where I can it's not um, appreciated by everybody in my local community but that's their loss uh, as long as you guys keep liking the videos and I keep finding cool projects to work on then you know that keeps me ticking over keeps me happy so guys listen thank you very much I hope you've enjoyed the video uh, like I said to you, I would have liked to have shown you some logs and done some more technical assessment of that board. If it was my board and I had more time, certainly we would have done that. But trying to produce a video every week is, uh, is not easy to do that. And it's just started lashing it down. Could we be any luckier? Crazy. So listen, guys. Anyway, thank you very much. Uh, really appreciate all the support as always. And I'll see you next week. Oh, and by the way, I'm sorry I missed the video last week. Um, life. Yeah, one of those things. First one in 12 months, guys. But I did record something for my patrons. They got a look behind the scenes at some stuff that's going on. So, super cool. Uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one.